In today's video tutorial, we are going to cover the functionality of BigCommerce Multi Vendor Marketplace. BigCommerce Multi Vendor Marketplace is a software application that would convert your normal BigCommerce store into marketplace so that not only the store admin but the seller can associate with your e commerce store and start selling their product. And here, the admin have the backend access on control over the product sellers and the seller product. It also gives an option that without admin's approval, seller product would not be visible at the storefront. And the admin can create seller membership plan that have to be purchased at the time of registration. Only after that, a seller can start selling his product. And the admin will get the commission from each seller based on the seller membership plan. So for the documentation regarding this application, you can go to the Webcool store and click on this user guide. To get this application, you need to click over this button. So after clicking over that button, you will be redirected to the BigCommerce Marketplace. And here you will find Multi-Vendor Marketplace by Webcool application. So here you need to click on this Get This app. And here you will be redirected to this page. So to install this application, firstly you need to log into your BigCommerce store. So if you are having your existing store, you need to log into that BigCommerce store. Else you can create and sign up to the new BigCommerce store. So let us log into our store. After logging to my BigCommerce store, this is my BigCommerce backend. And here go to app. And under my app, you will find the list of application that you have installed and uh, here you will find the install button to install the application as i have already installed this application to my big commerce store so it is displaying like this so to install the application simply you need to click on the install button now let us proceed towards the configuration of this application Here this is the backend of my big commerce marketplace application and uh, we first start with the my subscription. Here this is the dashboard and these are the tabs that we will going to cover uh, in the video and here let us first start with my subscription. So under my subscription you will find this subscription information. Here in subscription information, you will find the detail of the plan that you have opted. And here this is the detail of your subscription plan. And from here also you can upgrade the plan by clicking on the upgrade plan. So if you want to update your, upgrade your current plan to any one of your choice, you can upgrade the plan from here. Simply click on buy button and you will be redirected to the payment page and after doing the payment you can update your plan. Now next is the transaction and here under the transaction you will find the list of all the transactions. This is the details of the transaction. This is the plan, application, payment mode transaction status and the date and uh, here you will find the uh, complete details about the transaction of uh, the subscription that you have purchased so this is the details about the uh, transaction of your subscription plan next this is my company go to company profile so here in company profile an admin can view the detail of his company. This is actually the details of the admin's store, the commerce store. And here the admin can find the detail of his store. This is the company setting. And here an admin can view the settings done to big commerce store and uh, to synchronize the setting from big commerce store to the marketplace. An admin need to click on the synchronize button and to the settings which is done at the big commerce store will be synchronized to the marketplace. Next, this is the setting and the first one is the setup instruction. And here under setup instruction, this is the seller registration URL and the login URL. This is the seller login and the register link at the home page. And uh, this is the steps that uh, the admin need to follow. 
to set up the seller login and the register page at the storefront. This is the code that you need to paste at the back end of the e-commerce store and uh, simply need to follow these steps and uh, let us now see how we are going to uh, set these codes at the back end. Firstly, you need to go to storefront and my theme and follow these steps. This is the reference of the screenshot provided for uh, any kind of help. You can refer to this as screenshot. Now, go to my storefront and let us see how we uh, set up this code at the back end. And here, go to my themes. Click on edit theme files. Here, click on template, click on component, click on common. And then click on navigation.html and here you need to search for the required position like you can refer to this screenshot and paste this code and here you need to simply paste this code next uh, let us go to the app section we have uh, set up this code now let us copy this code and then set this code to uh, this location and we can take the reference of this screenshot to search for the location. Now go to the storefront. Click on template, component, common and then click on navigation menu.html and here search for the position where I need to set up this code. This is the reference. So let us copy this code over here. So click on this save and apply file. So after setting up this code, let us now go to the storefront and here you will see this seller login and the seller registration page is added to the storefront. Next. Now, this is the need assistance for code integration. If you have any query related to installation and setup of this code, you can click on this and a new pop-up will get open. And here you need to enter the details. So you will get the help regarding how to set up this installation. And this is the embed page. By clicking embed page, the seller marketplace seller uh, details page will be registered to uh, added to your storefront. Let us see the storefront. And here you will see this marketplace and seller added to the storefront. And here 
you will find the details of your sellers, uh, the list of the sellers of your marketplace. And here you will also able to view the details of your seller. So after that go to seller setting. So here under seller setting admin can uh, configure the setting for the seller. First one is the product setting and uh, in product setting this is product auto approval and the admin can uh, set the status of the product to auto approval and uh, by setting the status to yes and uh, if the admin manually want to approve the product he can set the status to no from here so basically this functionality is used for auto approval and uh, Next, this is uh, functionality is used to set up the uh, editor as a plain text or as a tiny mice for uh, editor. This is show location and by check this box, uh, a customer can able to show the location in the product from where the product is getting shipped. So basically this, uh, this functionality is uh, used to display the location uh, of the product. This is the product identifier and uh, this functionality is used to um, identify the seller product and uh, customize uh, the product of the seller and uh, by its uh, adding the suffix or prefix from here. So here and uh, admin can set the position as a suffix or as a prefix and uh, if we want to add uh, a seller id uh, seller name or any custom value uh, as per his choice he can set the value as a custom and after uh, selecting this custom and uh, admin can enter the custom value which you want to be displayed as uh, a suffix to product name this is the identifier joiner which is uh, uh, used to join the uh, product name with uh, the customized name and uh, this is for the SKU identifier if uh, an admin want to customize the SKU product SKU then he can enable this box and then for the SKU we can set the position as a, a suffix or prefix if you want to uh, prefix any, uh, any value then he can set just like as we have done in the product so he can set the values from here so this is basically is used to customize the product to uh, make the product uh, different uh, for the seller and in this way the seller product will be customized <coughs> so here after filling this value we click on the save button next is the email configuration and here an admin can configure the settings of email to the big commerce store we need to enter these credential values over here and then click on this save button next is the domain setting and this functionality will allow an admin to customize the domain name as per his requirement so after filling the and fill the domain name this functionality will be uh, used and uh, after filling the domain name uh, for the mapping and basically uh, basically this functionality we have provided only for the selected subscription plan so if you have opted with the plan uh, in which the domain mapping is uh, yes then you can uh, use this functionality and uh, uh, you can uh, enter the name of the domain for the mapping to the big commerce marketplaces too so here after entering you need to click on the save button so basically in this video we have covered the subscription and transaction and about company and the setting how we set up the instruction to add the seller login and the registration page to storefront and how we uh, create how we configure the seller setting and how we configure the email and how we configure the domain setting so basically in this video tutorial we have covered up these three uh, functionality and now in the next video tutorial we are going to cover the rest of the functionality of e-commerce multi-vendor marketplace thanks for watching this video